What is going on everyone? My name is Boyd and I am back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action, spawning in the bottom of the map in the blue color, playing as set. His name is Shelty. He's born today in the red color, playing as a Ra. His name is Chemo. The map is Marsh. And it is game five in this best of five series for the Bill Gregg Open. Both players have won two games each. The loser of this game is out. The winner of this game goes on to the next round to face some more tough competition. It's been a great series so far. We've seen Kimo turning it on with his main god Ra, really showing how good he is with it. And Shelty's really struggling to get through that Ra with his uh, with his god series, choosing to go with Set in this final game. Did have some success with Set earlier in this series against the Zeus of Kimo. And we're gonna be seeing what he can do here. If he can pick this one up, we do see Mithril's Horseshoes is on the map. That one's a 10% cavalry movement speed buff for Besh of Horus. 100% hero damage versus Mithrin. It's very, very good relics. And with the blue crystal shard. It's an interesting one to see uh, Kimo picking up there, considering um, it's not as good as the other two relics. We've uh, had some, uh, some of the Age Mythology expert wizards who go deep diving into the facts of age mythology in order to tell me that the blue crystal shard is in fact useless in the majority of circumstances if you know how it works though you can get some crazy advantages with this one uh, there's a couple of situations very few where it's not a five percent increase but a 20 percent increase uh but for the most part, it's a 0% increase. Uh, so I, I think off the top of my head, one of those uh, advantages is uh, mining camp getting pickaxe. You get, a, instead of instead of getting 5% going up to 15%, which you have pickaxe would be a 10% increase, plus blue crystal shard, you think it's 5% increase, so that'd be 15%. You actually go up by a 20% increase. We actually get an effective 30% increase after just getting pickaxe. But, uh, that, that would mean getting shaft mine gives you nothing. It goes back to 0%. Getting quarry also gives you nothing because of how small the advantages is. If you think about uh, how villagers gather resources, don't think about their rate of resource gather, which is these numbers here, where it says 0 0.82 gold per second. You think about it as their, how many animations it takes for them to get 10 gold or 15 gold or whatever it is. Uh, and that's uh, effectively what you want to be looking at. We are seeing the temple map coming up for Kima going up for a very fast, very, very fast classical age here. Whenever you see Kima chucking this many villagers onto the uh, temple, you know, he's not doing, he's not playing around. He knows what he's playing against. He knows he's playing against the set. I feel like this game is going to look very similar to that last game we saw, but potentially we're going to see a, a two town center here from Shelty. I'd actually love to see, like I said in that, um, in that last game, I'd love to see Three town centers here. You've seen Joe execute it incredibly well, and it's a very strong strategy in these Egyptian walls because, especially against Ra, who normally can only afford to go two town centers if he wants to make those farms. We have three town centers. One, two, three. Spam villages. And then you skip the heroic age. Go for max villages, uh, and you skip the heroic age, and you go for a uh, semi fast mythic age. Utilize that uh, that tornado in order to slow down your opponent. We'll get the boars here attacking this pharaoh who's grabbed the mithril horseshoes as if Ra's camelry aren't fast enough. I don't think he's going to be able to pick this pharaoh off. The boars are incredibly slow with only 4.5 speed versus the full speed of the pharaoh. If he could bump into this guy a little bit um, and actually slow him down, it would work, but he's not able to get the boar in front. And the pharaoh is going to get out of there with the mithril horseshoes. Got to feel really good about that one. Tar is 100% complete now for Shelty and Kimo, both getting up at the same time here. Down center now coming up for Shelty as he's grabbed the uh, Tusk of the Iron Boar. That one's going to be good. That's Cavalry and Chariot Archer hit points. So that means your Cavalry and your Chariot Archer go up by 10%, which is effectively the same as getting a line upgrade minus the uh, attack increase. So a very, very strong upgrade or relic there. But with the Cavalry, with the uh, Mithril Horseshoes, it's kind of even there as well. Do we see 
the pickaxe for chemo. No pickaxe for chemo. So this uh this Brucus Trashard is going to do a nada for him. And you see it's not put it in to the temple. <laughs> Realizes that it's kind of useless. <laughs> Alrighty. Second town center is up now for Shelty. Much faster than Chemo. Even though Chemo advanced really quickly, it looks like he did not have the gold to advance that temple, that town center up. And are we have we got a lot of villages on the gold mine here? We do have only five. So we're not seeing a three town center here for Shelty. It's a little bit disappointing. Um, it's, I think it's just because Shelty has not played that much Egyptian recently. He's been really into the Norse. And while he's Egyptian is strong, he struggles a little bit with those up-to-date meta strats uh, in order to deal with this. You can even grab this middle town center as well if you're feeling spicy. It does secure this this hunt. You get all of this hunt in the middle of the map that's yours. Um, but we are just going to be seeing a two town center fast strike here for Shelty. Um, yeah, nice to get off of this town center and onto the uh, granary as well, but that's totally cool. And just a little bit of burning here. It's a little bit of a slow start here for these guys. There we go. He, oh, he has already put the relic. I'm so silly. He's already got the uh, blue crystal shard Thank doing nothing you. for him. But uh, he's doing something for him now. But that's fine. Blue crystal. The, the uh, cavalry movement speed goes into the town center there. Pharaoh is still doing the wrong things. And you can just see this is Shelty's Egyptian inexperience. Uh, as he pulls the, the Pharaoh finally off the town center. I'm going to be moving him back to the base to go into the gold mine potentially. And Shelty is really low on the resources. He's got a lot of villagers onto food here. Um, but he's, he's, he's going to be lacking it. Lacking the food. Slowly getting the uh, gold income. Eating from the crocodile. Eating from the boar. Getting the map control files now coming up for uh, Chemo. Armory now coming down. This is going to be a standard advance time here for Chemo. It's looking like 8.30 or, or 9 minutes even actually because the armory is up a bit late. Maybe? Maybe like 8.45, I guess. And Shelty should be advancing fairly soon as well. Uh, potentially 8.30 as well or 8.15 if it gets the resources out. Um, oh, he's running out of hunt though. Should be okay to advance at this point. Yeah, here we go. These villagers really over onto the gold mine. Really nice timing there. Make sure you don't always go for the hippos. Fair enough. Uh, it's gonna be an 8:30 here for Shelty, and we'll see if Kimo gets there as well. Uh, he's not gonna have the uh, he's not gonna have the gold, so it's gonna be like 8:45 or, or maybe a little bit more. But he will have the gold. Not for 8:30, but 8:45. Armor gonna be. Up fairly soon, so nine minutes, eight forty-five, totally cool. And Shelty is going to go for that map control. It's the advantage of being set. Get ancestors eclipse, not eclipse, but ancestors, and you can go for the map control on Shelty. Going through Nephthys. It's going to be there very soon. Um, potentially through now third down center while he's advancing, or something like that. Take some villagers off food, put them onto wood. It's totally cool. How's um, economic upgrades going? Still no economic upgrades. And that's that there. Wall's coming out. The Shikimo just wants to be safe on this gold mine. He's got, he's got so many gold mines back here. Look at this. Look at these large gold mines. That's beautiful right there. Uh, but this just means that we're going to see semi-fast mythic here from Kimo potentially into fast titan. Could be an option. Like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff you can do just sitting back here on these gold mines. Semi-fast Titan is an option here. Shelty moving forward, gonna chuck him into a stronghold down here. He's got all the time in the world to do so. Chemo is probably 75% onto Hathor. Yeah, he's about to get there. Got a stronghold going up, maintaining map control, grabbing this this uh, this middle of the map. And here we go, moving in. Does Shelty know about all of this? Yeah, he's seen this map, he knows how how crazy good it is for chemo. It, it, it's funny, like as set, one of the biggest advantages you have with set is just knowing what your opponent's map layout is, and, and you can you can adjust based on that. But I'm not seeing any adjustments from Shelty here. He's chucking up the Migdal Stronghold. I probably wouldn't even bother with that. Just grabbing Town Centers here would be a really good idea. Seeing the Migdal Stronghold going up for chemo. Chemo is going to be going to the Mythic Age fairly soon. Chucking up the market as well. Uh, Shelty can choose to not grab this town center and do the same thing, but he's just going to be slightly behind. You can see how low he is. He's got all the hunt, so he kind of catches back up because Kimo's basically gathering with 
with this many villagers on food, 18 is basically gathering at, at, at half, well not half, but maybe three quarters the rate that Shelty's gathering from, if he's gathering from the hunt. But he is looking like he's gonna try and make some pressure onto this location here. He does have ancestors, so if he can get out enough uh, siege towers, he can't really four siege towers here, which is like maybe built a little bit too many chariot arches, should have built two siege workshops down and, and done that. Could build a siege workshop over here or a mid door stronghold here. He's chucking up a siege workshop down here. These are Camor are gonna be looking for some raids. Uh, I think, oh, there's the locust. That's really bad. Most of these villages going down, if not every single one of them. Deletes the siege workshop, but that is the locust doesn't have to worry about. Only picking off three villages there with a locust is pretty nice for him. Now he can start moving forward. He is going to be going chariot archers into the camera, but there's no sort of uh, there's no sort of heroes out. So Ancestors is going to do a lot of damage, and Kimo is not close to Osiris here. So so long as you can make this move in, do we see skin of the rhino? Yep, skin of the rhino out. But the Camry running around doing their thing. The Rock is checking out the base of Shelty. These units are moving in. Going to be trying to take down the gate here as they do get that one down. Got two Siege Towers here. Two War Elephants versus only five Camry and a Pharaoh here. No answers. There's the Ancestors coming down. Chariot Archers need to focus down the Pharaoh, which they are doing. And they're going to manage to pick off that Pharaoh straight away. The Migdal Stronghold is now under fire here. The uh, back of this is really important though with those Pursuit Shots dealing so much damage. The double Pursuit Shots out. The Pharaoh's out as well. These villagers moving in going to take down the first siege tower moving on to the second siege tower taking a lot of damage from those chariot archers but all the cavalry are going to be falling here as the chariot archers are continuing to kill off a lot of these villagers here i feel like this is not going incredibly well for shelty but he's got so many units left alive all of the ancestors are just about picked off the mercenary cavalry coming in right now and we are seeing a shifting sands here moving the pastrustros into his base here going to be taking a little bit of damage into his base but the villagers coming in here going to finish off this Siege Tower, we've got the uh, Migdal Stronghold getting taken down by the War Elephant, but the Chariot, or the Cavalry I should say, take down the uh, take down that there, and looks like Kimo has managed to defend this, and I feel like Shelty has to get out of here, and Kimo in a really good spot here, but he did have to spend a lot of resources onto those Mercenary Cavalry, but for some reason Shelty's still fighting this location here, as he needs to get out of here, and, and he's... Uh, Hasn't really done the damage there at all. He managed to pick up a couple of villages, which is great, but uh, not enough siege towers on that push. Uh, on Nilla, where you don't have that bonus villager damage against the uh, against the siege towers, two siege towers would have been enough. But on the Titans, you need extra siege towers. You should have waited for the fourth, third or fourth siege tower and then gone for the ancestors' attack there. Now Kimo is going to have all the breathing room that he wants, and Wall's trying to come back up, going to get picked off instantly. There's just another villager here. Um, but still, yet again, this Pistustros and Wadja just doing work here, and Kimo just needs to get out some priests, which he's finally doing. Uh, but yet again, Kamori are stronger than Chariot Arches, even though the Chariot Arches have Tusk of the Iron Boar. Just give them extra HP. These Kamori have that movement speed bonus. They're trying to pick off this siege tower because you realize if he picks it off, he could just retreat and not have to worry about this. But a lot of units dying here for Kimo and Shelty's actually microing this fairly well. The uh, priest moving in. Well, you can garrison the priest into the siege tower if you need to. Trying to pick off the uh, the wadget here and he is doing fairly nice job. Another priest moving in. And here we go. Those myth units are falling very, very slowly. But it's looking half decent for Shelty's grabbing that third town center. Kimo, he's low on gold. He needs to get a little bit more gold. He can trade that wood there that he's got in the bank for um, for gold to advance to the next age. Uh, but we'll see if he does that. The rock sitting in the back here he does have shifting sands for that location if he so chooses, which would be pretty nice. Uh, and we do have three town centers now for Shelty. He's got map control. He's got three town centers, but he has no real resources in the base. And we do... Wait. Horus for Shelty? Before Chemos? And three town centers? This is looking really, really good for Shelty. Because he can just he can just tornado this base here. Chemo might tornado this base here. I can't believe that we've seen uh Shelty manage to keep up with, while producing all of these chariot arches. Uh, it just seems that Chemo's um, economic management is not that good. And normally we'd be seeing Chemo in the heroic age right now. And Shelty is He's going there himself, and we're seeing another Migdol Stronghold coming up, and we're seeing these Chariot Archers able to siege away at this location here. And just imagine if these were, like, uh, had extra range or something. could do some real damage, but they do not get that extra range because he does not have Bone Bow. And you get Bone Bow through Segment. 
These camera are going to get picked off yet again. The Migdal Stronghold going to be going down. And we are seeing yet again these uh, these myth units in the back just doing work here. And we are seeing this pressure is just coming through at this point. We do see that the wall gets picked off. The villagers get pulled off their gold mine yet again. And we're rebuilding that wall. It does half HP damage or three quarters HP damage to that siege tower for a wall there, which costs 15 gold. Really, really nice. But uh, it is looking like these trades are going nicely for Sheltie. He's trading very, very well. And the score's a little bit deceiving here because a lot of the units that Sheltie's lost have been free units. And there is the medium, or the heavy upgrades, I should say. Sheltie has hit the Mythic Age through Horus. He's going to cast Tornado? Tornado? No? Yes? Tornado on this location here. Going to pick off a bunch of villages, pick off the Migdol Stronghold. The villages get pulled away there. Always oh, losing some the some of the camelry here. Are oh, moving in. He's got a lot of camelry in this location. The Avenger moving in. Going to be losing a lot of these units. Losing some villages over here as well. But there is still Tornado left here. And this is not good for Sheldy. He's losing every single one of these chariot archers for these camelry here. And, and this is really bad because now Kimo's got his own... Uh, tornado that he could potentially use over here and pick off this entire location here if he so chose But we do have rhinoceros of set. How much favor does Shelty have in the bank? 21 favor in the bank not enough to really do anything like that And we may have to see Shelty transition into spearman here does have horror spin We see shifting sands getting used gonna be moving on to this gold mine Absolutely gigantic the rock was sitting on over here And he's gonna be using these camori to trap these villages here trying to do a lot of damage to these guys as he's trying to fix up this location in the back here while you're uh, while you're attacking Expand, expand, expand. That is kind of the aim of the game. But most of these villages are going to be getting away. These cavalry have got really poor pathfinding and they are going to be get it, getting into this town center here. More of these siege towers making a move forward. Going to be trying to pick off some of these houses here. We've got the uh, tornado now coming up into this location. Trying to take down this town center here, which it will do. Uh, but I don't think it should be able to pick off any of these villages. But all of the army of Shelty now in the front here. We see these these chariot archers taking this down. It looks like the town center is going to survive. That's going to hurt. Looks like it's going to be going after the Migdol stronghold. And Shelty only has one Migdol stronghold here. And he's going for an attack here. He can, can spam out the uh, rhinoceros if he so chose. Uh, but there's the siege workshop coming up. He has been sp spamming out these rhinoceros here. And he now he's got a favor to build that Migdol stronghold back up. He's going to have to build. Oh, there it is. He does have a favor. I lie. He's got 17. I Miss all. Okay, that's fine. Um, and now we've got these. He's going to be trying to garrison the pharaoh into the mystery tower, which he does manage to do. Um, going to be trying to pick off this pharaoh. He does manage to get on top of it. That pharaoh will go down. And the Avenger does go down as well. Both Avengers have fallen here. This is such a chaotic game. Got the last Migdol stronghold coming up now. Or the second, for one Migdol stronghold coming up Migdol for, for Shelter here. Ch the Cavi Camaro moving onto this villager line here as well. Uh, choosing not to attack that location. Uh, and we're still not seeing this third or fourth town center coming up for Shelty just yet. And Chemo, his economy is strong right now. Look at his upgrades. He's got irrigation. He's got quarry. Only shaft mine for Shelty. He has not gone plow yet because he's still hunting. He's still hunting. The dude is crazy. And we are seeing these Camry have made their way onto this large gold mine in the back of the base here. But they are getting chased down by the Camry or by the Chariot Archers, I should say. He can turn around and fight this if he wanted to with the villagers. He would win this fight here. And he looking like... Yeah, he's doing that at this point. He's, he's uh, sort of doing that. I'm not sure what hap what's happening here. But the uh, the Chariot Archers will probably win this fight here if they fight. And we are moving in in this location. More Chariot Archers are in the back here. Fighting these Camelry here as other villagers retreat. We move on to this wood or anywhere else. He's got g gathering gold in the front of the base. Looking like he's moving over onto this gold mine. Just trying to find something to, to attack here. It's all over the map at this point, Camo is. Making villagers over here, hiding villagers onto this a wood line over here. Got some of these catapult coming up. The spearmen are now coming down. No upgrades for them just yet, though, which is uh, they're, they're probably not even going to counter the camelry at this point while, while they're just being unupgraded spearmen versus heavy, cam heavy camelry. Both of those catapults do pick off. That's a lot of resources lost there, 400 to be exact. And we've got the markets now going. He's going to start spamming that trade out. He's actually going to be running out of gold fairly soon, though. He's only got 1,800 gold left, and he's got no gold mines to grab. Chat, Camaro coming onto this location, though. He's got so many idle villages, Shelty. This is why you're behind at this point. If you're on top of your macro, it would not be that hard to continue here. He's only building spamming from one barracks here, and uh, still idle villages in the back here. Villages, oh, they're running through the Camry. Going to be losing even more of these villages. Just running low on the food. It's it's looking bad for him. So sacrificing 
random catapult here for uh, no reason. Trading one catapult for a Camry. That's a trade you take any day of the week. And the uh, Camry are getting picked off, but what cost, man? This is looking hard for Shelty at this point. He's still got the advantage. He's got the uh, he's got the he's got the town center here. He's got the fortified town centers as well. So he's sitting at 160 pop. But he just and he is sitting at 160 pop versus the 124 pop of Kima. But the uh, is, is Kima going too tight? He's looking like he's chucking up monuments. He's trying to get the uh, the the favor income so he can produce something here. Looks like the Pharaoh's going to get picked off. He's got Champion Camry out. Still no upgrades for the Spearman. Nice raid onto this back goal line yet again. I'm surprised we just haven't seen any walls thrown up for Shelty. This is the difference between like a Joe and Shelty. Like Joe would have the entire map walled up at this point and, and have like stone walls. And these Camry raids would not do anything to him. Um, but Shelty just uh, just not set up at all. And now he's got the catapult. He's got a nice nice position here. But Camry going to be moving into the back and into the front. He's going to get a nice surround on this. This is going to be really, really good for him. These Camry are hitting this location. He does have Migdol Fire here. Champion Chariots are coming out. Got Medium Spearman here. Nice micro from the Camry here. Oh, really bad micro from Shelty. Finally Rick recognizes it after so many volleys. Really nice micro from Kimo so far. He needs to separate these chariots up a little bit so that you can't do this, this micro here. And, and these these Camry are just gonna be rinsing these champion chariots. Doesn't he have uh he doesn't even have chronolation, so these uh Miguel Stronghold really not doing that much damage. You've seen the mercenary cavalry getting popped out as well as Shelty's population dropping to 140. And we've got so many, so much wood in the bank here for Kimo. I wonder what he's saving that one up for. Um, we see Titans, no Titans just yet. Feels completely content. We're moving these four Camry out, and these Camry are going to be hitting multiple different locations here. The uh, villagers have to retreat yet again. He's got all these ball here, yet he's gathering from over here. Chuck up some walls, and you'd be totally fine. He does notice that this gold mine's not being gathered from, so let's check somewhere else out. Shelty can grab that third town center at some point. It just doesn't have the, re the, the resources for it. You could sell that wood if you wanted to. And we are seeing the Spearmen moving forward, but the Camry are on the back of these champion chariots yet again. How's the upgrades? We've got some really strong upgrades for uh, for Kimo here, whereas Shelty's just really struggling to stay alive. And this is just really brutal. We've got four camelry over here at this point, but these villagers should be able to deal with these guys. Looking to go for this town center. The Pharaoh is gonna be going down, and we do see one camelry gets picked off for the Pharaoh there. Town center will be coming up fairly soon, but it's looking like good trade so far for Shelty. So while his economy is suffering, there is no gold mines right now for Chemo. He has started the trade route, so he should be totally fine. But he's throwing away units, and these champion chariots are on top of it. Going to be able to pick off the Pharaoh? Yeah, he gets the Pharaoh there. Or just about. No, he doesn't get the Pharaoh there. The villager's going to move on over to this gold mine. There is no other gold mines on the map for him. So Shelty kind of just needs to sit on this gold mine here. Chuck up a Migdol Stronghold. Just do something. Recognize that this is a thing. And then you can sit in here and just and just do the trade route. And here we go. The, the chariot archers are getting attacked by the villagers here of Kimo. Kimo is just trying to raid everywhere at this point. And um, Chelty is just getting walloped. But he's got the map control. And how's his his gold in, income? Looking? He's, he's got a lot of wood in the back. Build up a market you should have. Trade that wood. Build up this Migdol stronghold here. That's what you want. That's what you want right now. And Chelty is sitting at 164 pop here. He's doing quite nicely in order to stay alive. And this wall does nothing. You just walk straight through it. These villagers are going to get picked off. Camry's still looking for something to do. They have found this gold mine over here. You can just retreat that one if they so chose. And now we've got the uh, mercenary cavalry getting built at this point. I think uh, the trade route of Kimo is kind of good at this point. He needs to get out. Uh, yeah, he's got he's got he's got enough camelry here or camel caravan. So this is all about maintaining this trade route. So potentially, what? these villagers have been idle for so long. Does he not know what an idle villager is? Or does it not show up? He's got 29 idle villagers. Just hurts to see. Shelty's just throwing away everything at this point. Must be so exhausted after playing four games in a row, being the fifth game. And here we go, taking down all these camel here, seeing this trade route, picking off these camel caravans. These aren't cheap. 100 resources each, 100 food each to be exact. Takes down some houses over here, the catapult coming into the back of this location here. Taking out all of these, this trade route at this point. And Shelty's sitting at really low gold though. 
So if he can pick off these units here, this is going to be really difficult for him. And where is the army of Kimo? Kimo's got these camera in the middle, but the Avengers are here. The Avengers are here to help out. This uh, really turns the tide of this fight here. And still pumping out these units as if he's just trying to hang on. Just taking down everything he possibly can here. Uh, and it's looking like he's not doing enough damage here. And Kimo is able to stabilize on top of this. Does have the fair in the back. In order to help take out the Avenger here, the Avenger will probably get retreated or something, or get the camera to take out the Pharaoh. Don't know. Looks like the uh, looks like the Avenger gets picked off. Really well played there by Shelty. Nice micro. Still has idle villages over here. <laughs> just everywhere. He's microing so hard at this point, but he just needs to get his idle villages underway. Twenty-two idle villages. Just imagine if he had those gathering at this point, he'd be able to produce units you know, so much faster. He's only got three military buildings as well, four military buildings if you count this. This one, he's trying to take down this location. I would just go this way, go into the corner. There we go, finally on top of the idle villages here. Um, but it looks like the uh, catapult get picked off. You could build some watchtowers up on this location or anything like that would be useful. Uh, but Kimo just really struggling to, he hasn't even got, uh, he's missing a house, he's building the house back up, but he's still staying at a max supply here. So all he has to do is push through this location. If he could do that, he'd be in a good position here. But he's just really struggling to produce. Like he's, he's got not, not much food in the bank. He's probably still spamming. Yeah, he's still spamming camel caravans. Probably needs to stop that at this point because he is floating resources. Um, but we'll see if he can if he can stay afloat here. This, this fight is is looking looking real dicey for Shelty because he's he's got he's got army, but the army quality is what matters here. You can see iron weapons, iron shields. Versus copper shield and copper mail. So it's, it's looking hard for him. So it's a little catapult getting produced. Might be worth to be making something else there. A couple of camo coming in here. Just turn around and fight that. Shelty just not reacting very nicely. Oh, here we go. Villagers moving forward. The villagers moving forward. And we're going to see... I'm going to see if I can see becoming a gold issue here because... I guess Shelty's kind of on a timer here. He needs to start a trade route as well. Because he's going to be running out of gold in the next, like, I don't know, 5-10 minutes. Um, and he doesn't have the food. He still probably doesn't have plow or anything. He's got, like, no upgrades. He's still hunting. He's almost out of hunt. It's, like, 25 minutes into the game. He's still hunting. I'm seeing a dock coming up over here. The villagers do spot that one there. Uh, these villagers actually do win this fight. and Because uh, they do have skin of the rhino. Uh, and he's going to be able to get that dock up. Making some of those mercenary cavalry here as Kimo is moving forward and Kimo is just slowly but surely getting into this game, just doing damage where he can, using his population really efficiently. He can start spamming some towers or something as well. He's got so much wood in the bank. If I, I mean, you could probably just take some of these villages off wood, like 13 of them, and just use them as a push. Use them as a push onto this location here. Chuck them with Dostra and hold down. And then, oh, and Shelty taps out, realizes he just can't support this. He's sitting with not much resources in the bank, and he just just taps out. GG. Well played by Kimo with the reverse sweep, taking this game at three to two. Shelty had all of the chances in this tournament or in this series. He could have won that game on Blue Lagoon. He could have won this game here on Arctic Craters. He just uh, Arctic Craters was a really poor play by him, really poor showing, but. The other games definitely had a chance there, and uh, Kimo just manages to take it from him. Gets to go into the next round, and Shelty's out. Gets that 8th, 7th spot in this tournament. Unlucky for Shelty. Better luck next time. And Kimo is going to move on. If you enjoyed this game, please rate, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you like my videos and want to see them as soon as I come out. My name is Boyd, and I will see you guys next time.